Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. Uh, in the last video, we learned about how to create this particular report from scratch. If you have not watched that video, I will leave the link to that video in the description below. Please do watch it. Uh, but in this video, I am going to teach you how to uh, compare two different periods. For example, uh, I have two uh, tables over here. One table here is of our quarter four, uh, 2017 quarter four sales amount, which is 280K. And I want to compare this as to how we performed in the last year in the same quarter, that is October, November and December. So this is the chart, uh, this is the table that I have here, whereas uh, our 2016 quarter four spend or sales was uh, 2 lakh 36 thousand. So this year obviously we've grown with our sales amount. Now instead of having this in two different tables and uh, you know manually going and selecting the uh, months that you want to see, it's, a, it's quite a tedious task and obviously uh, not a happy or, uh, or, or, or a happy, not a ha happy experience for the uh, you know the leadership team who is viewing your dashboard now how can we create a nice and seamless uh, looking analysis uh, uh, report uh, that's what i'm going to teach you here so please watch this video till the end of the video so let's get started for now we only have a fact table over here we would need a calendar table to create this so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to go to the modeling tab and click on new table when i select this i have a table it's asking for a name i'm just going to type in calendar and uh, i'm going to uh, use a variable function over here i'm just going to press enter to bring it to the new line uh, and I'm going to define a variable here. I'm going to say minimum date is equals to min of my order date from the fact table. I'm going to choose the order date. Okay. And I'm going to close the bracket. I'm going to go to the next line, type in variable again. This time I would need the max date is equals to max of my order date max of my order date i'm going to close the bracket and then enter sorry uh, i'm going to do shift and enter so that it goes to the new line and uh, i will type in return shift enter again and then type in calendar okay and now it's asking me for a start date and an end date here i'm going to type in minimum date that we just created comma end date is my max date which we just created okay i'm going to close the bracket press enter so my new table called calendar has now been created okay now let's go to the uh, uh, relationship uh, model view and then i'm going to connect the date here to the order date column here so that a relationship is created between these two and I'm also going to change this to uh, the both cross filter direction to both I'm going to click on OK OK I'm going to create a new sheet uh, now we will create a measure for our uh, sales amount OK I'm going to call this as sales amount is equals to sum of sales okay i'm going to close the bracket press enter and then i'm going to create a new measure here i'm going to call this as same period last year is equals to calculate okay and then the measure that we just created which is the sales amount comma i'm going to type in same period last year okay i'm going to open the bracket over here and then I'm going to type in the date from the calendar date table and choose the date close bracket and close another bracket and press enter okay now let's start building our dashboard or a report okay I'm going to click on date over here okay 
and uh, let's bring this into a table okay close this okay and uh, i'm going to bring in my sales amount okay and then i'm also going to bring in my same period last year amount right so if you can see here our sales data is starting all the way from 2014 obviously we don't have any data prior to this uh, these months that's why uh, rows here are blank all right uh, let's get rid of month over here so that we we are only looking at uh, year and quarter uh, 2016 quarter if you remember we saw the spend the sales was 236 and in 2018 17 the sales was 280 now you see here that both of these numbers are here in the uh, same uh, table uh, for 2017 quarter 4 it was 280k same period last year when i say same period last year 2016 quarter 4 it was 236 which is exactly over here you will have to make uh, one change to the uh, date table over here uh, you need to click on this go to the column tools and over here select one of this option in the date formats so that the column gets formatted now what you can do is click on this slicer over here and then bring in the date column and uh, change the list to uh, change here to list right and then go here if you don't see date hierarchy you can click over here all right now you can see the date hierarchy now i'm going to go and select quarter four of 2017 what this is now saying me is that quarter four of 2000 uh, 17 is 2 lakh 80 thousand is the sales amount whereas the same period in the last year as in 2016 quarter 4 the sales is 2 lakh 36 thousand now we have achieved what we wanted likewise you know you can select quarter 3 as well and check the amounts of various uh, you can go to the um, format tab here into the selection controls and uh, multi -collect, select with control can be turned off so that you can select multiple quarters at a time and you can see that uh, you can actually compare the entire year now when you've selected four quarters you can see that our sales amount in 2017 was 7,33,000 versus uh, 609,000 uh, uh, in uh, the same period last year which is 2016 you can also take this report to the next level by adding a new measure which is talking about the difference between these two now you can go to the order orders uh, table over here click on the ellipsis click on new measure and this measure called i'm going to call this as difference okay and then i'm going to say sales amount minus same period last year okay i'm going to press enter and now you can bring in the difference into this particular table you can see we are seeing we have started to see the difference column over here i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new please do hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials if you have any particular request please let me know in the comment section below and i will be happy to help you thank you so much for watching